when you think of fashion what do you think the dresses the makeup the jewelry you walk into the mall you see brands hundreds of them some you like some you dislike and some you adore you walk in a store you choose your clothes you head to the trial room try them on and proceed to the billing counter to pay via your credit card right but then something unusual happened we have therefore made the assessment that covid-19 can be characterized as a pandemic welcome to buds ai today we are going to talk about how the fashion industry is changing after the covid pandemic how is ai working behind the scenes and what does the future holds for fashion the world was locked down the streets were empty school colleges offices all shut down people were suffering left right and center the business world was in deep trouble and so was the fashion industry in these strange times the world was forced to adapt masks sanitizers and social distancing were the new normal the sales plummeted many filed bankruptcy and many went out of business the challenge with the fashion industry was to recreate themselves and adjust with the circumstances ahead of them brands like gap timberland h&m inditex asos macy's and many more introduced virtual try-ons on their websites to recreate the in-store shopping experience the stores also added virtual try-ons instead of trial rooms there's a good chance if you walk into a store you might find a self check-in shopping cart well these are some of the changes you might have noticed during your online and in-store shopping experience but what about behind the scenes changes and the technological shift taking place in the fashion industry Companies like WGSN and Huritech with the help of AI are helping fashion giants save millions by forecasting the trends. Let's take a look at trend forecast. Change of paradigm. Massive waste. Today, influence is generated online by millions of consumers. At Heritech, we believe that images tell powerful stories. Social media tells stories about your consumers, products and trends, your competition. What if you had a 360-degree view on your market to back your intuitions? Heritech's mission is to capture the power of images on social media. We analyze millions of images each day and can recognize thousands of details and products thanks to our cutting-edge AI technology. We translate data into unprecedented insights for predictive analytics on trends and stock. How about getting the renders of real garments from the sketches of the garments? and we could also put those clothes to models without the actual photo shoot digital clothing is on the rise and at the forefront of that is dressx founded by daria shapovalova and natalia modenova dressx in their words is the largest digital fashion store that carries 3d clothing collection 
from most well-known contemporary brands born in the physical world and in the digital space. They strongly believe that the amount of clothing produced today is way greater than humanity needs. Let's take a look at the most trending thing these days, NFT and in particular NFT in fashion. NFT fashion is not only about replacing a physical garment with a digital one. Instead, it is an opportunity for fashion brands to represent themselves in the digital space and tap into the new commodity market. With mainstream brands like H&M opening its 3D store in the metaverse, it's just the start of the big, big wave. Some of the top selling and designing NFTs are DressX, The Fabricant and Autoboros. Now let's talk about something more futuristic. Let's talk about smart clothes. We have long been talking about smart clothes. And here is what Chip Wilson, the founder of Lululemon Athletica, had to say. Well, I mean, you know, you talk to Elon Musk and Elon, Elon Musk mm -hmm. talks about the future and where we're going towards and what he thinks is going to happen. And you, you are five, seven years ahead. What's really going to happen? Are we going to have like smart clothes? Like, is it going to be smart? technical you know athletic gear or where are we going yeah i don't really believe in all the wires in okay. the clothing you see now i think it it's making clothing very uncomfortable it's heavy it's 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 kind of get it kind of defeats the purpose of kind of wearing clothing that feels naked i do feel it's going to be lycra um, i think it's going to be a complete suit top to bottom it's going to the actual fabric will be temperature control it will handle stink i think you can see, you know, the Apple Watch getting bigger, but I think it's going to be a full Apple Watch here with ear implants here. I think the, the phone or whatever we call it will do will prick into our skin for blood and moisture and salt. It will it will compare that against big data. It will send that to you know our doctors only when we, or you know, it'll, I mean actually the big data just to. Will, will tell us you know, whether we need to check in with a doctor or not. But I also think you know, from a fashion point of view, there's gonna be a, people won't be designing clothing so much as they'll be designing apps and you'll go on an app and kind of pick out a design that you want your clothing mm. to turn to mm -hmm. that day. So by color Come on. design You think whatever, we're going there? That's amazing. Yeah, 100%, yeah. 100 we have to go there. So does the future of fashion excites you